Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cynthia and today I'm uh, sharing with you just this uh, journal with me. <laughs> we'll see how she goes. Um, I've been really enjoying creating in these pages and today I just kind of wanted to um, include elements wherever I felt like those elements belong there. I feel like putting this there, so there you go. I'm going to be working on a couple different pages and I'm using, as always, some very special items. Uh, here I'm pulling out items from different Happy Mails. These particular items were uh, from Angela and uh, I want to be using some of those uh, on these pages here. And um, I'm just gonna start pulling some other elements here. Um, I have this bag where I keep a lot of the ephemera that I create and then when I'm creating journals or when I'm sending happy mail, I like to go through that and use some of those, but I have some special items in there that I've been keeping for myself and I want to use them in my own journals. So I'm pretty excited to use some of those here. So this one here, um, I like the printable that's on there. That's a Ruby and Pearl XO printable. And uh, it has, in behind, I have a piece of authentic wallpaper. And then I just felt like the colors just looked really pretty with the, um, the embossed paper here and that gray tone. And so I'm just going to be playing around a little bit with these elements and trying to figure out um, how I want it to all be coming together. I hope you are all doing really well. Uh, things are good here. I am starting a new position um, within where I work uh, over the next uh, couple of weeks here. So I'm nervous, but very excited to um, be doing a position that hopefully will be a little less emotionally draining, <laughs> but we'll see how, um, how that goes. Uh, I'm really really hoping for the best with that and uh, whatever, it, everything that uh, will come with it and um, it's just another step in, in the right direction for, for us, for our family and uh, it's very exciting. Um, now I am going to be um, using kind of a mixture of my double sided tape here, my glue stick and I'm not sure if I use wet glue in this uh, in these spreads, but essentially I always use a combination. I don't have one that I prefer more over the others. What it comes down to for me is just what I'm using and what I'm trying to do. Um, also at times I do use my double-sided tip because I'm <laughs> too lazy to, to find my other glues and it's kind of instant, but double-sided tape doesn't work for everything, of course, so... Um, so now I'm going to be writing some words here and as always, this is like one of the, my favorite things to do. Um, and uh, I just write out kind of some sentiments or lyrics or, you know, just like a, a kind of a quote. And I write that on a little strip that I have left over, some paper scrap, and I play around with it and just make it be kind of a title for my pages. And in these specific pages here, I'm just kind of reflecting a little bit on the future and the near future, not the future like 20 years from now, but more so the next few years. Like we have some big plans ahead of us and what will that bring to us and how I feel about those plans we have. And that's really how I like to journal. I like to write about how I'm feeling. It helps me process my emotions. It helps me feel more at peace with my decisions. And um, I feel when I do that, then I don't have to talk about it at, at length, right? Like not as much. I still talk about it, of course, but it feels like I've been able to um, kind of share 
my most intimate thoughts but with my journals so that feels really good and now here I did want to have a little bit more room to be able to journal so I'm gonna uh, stick this piece of uh, coffee dyed paper I think uh, right on here either coffee or tea that was part of a happy meal and using some very precious fabrics that I received in some special happy mails <laughs> So just doing a little bit of journaling for these pages before I move on to the next. I've been thinking a lot about Christmas lately and um, I had some journals that I started last year and now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even think I'll be getting around to finishing them this year or maybe I will. I'm really unsure. I mean, I guess I still have time. <laughs> Would you guys be interested if I had a couple journals up for sale that are a little bit more holiday or wintry themed? Oh, it's um, times time just seems to be flying by and I am uh, struggling to do it all. I think a lot of us can relate to that, but I'm um, really feeling it these days that I have so much that I want to get done and I can't really decide on I'm, I'm I guess I'm struggling prioritizing and still finding enough energy to do the things that I really want to be doing so if you have any tips on that please go ahead and write them down below I'm sure myself and many others can benefit from from your insight on how to make those big decisions and uh, to find the energy to do the things we love. So here I'm just using, um, I had kind of layered different pieces and I had a piece of handmade paper that was a little bit more blank. So I wanted to use that to be able to include some secret journaling right in there. And the way I'm adding this tag is just with a paper clip, just simple. with these pages and now I'm just going to be flipping through and deciding which page I want to be working on next. I had already kind of gone through the journal and there's a few elements I had placed here and there so I think I'm going to go ahead and work on one of those pages. I had this piece of wallpaper that I really I knew I wanted to use it and it felt perfect for this journal so I decided to go ahead and work on that page. Now earlier you could see how far behind I am with posting videos and I have, <laughs> I don't know, I think like just life passing me by I guess, but I am enjoying myself. I'm doing lots of things. We've, um, I mentioned in an earlier video, we had family over uh, for a full week. We've been like throughout the summer, we did a ton of activities. Um, we went and uh, saw some friends as well and when you're in a new space, if you've ever moved somewhere new, you can probably relate to that. There's so much to discover and you also have to be very conscious of um, making a priority those who you're just now dis meeting, like new friends, right? Because that's really how you build community. And um, so our, I guess our priorities have shifted a little bit over the past year and what we um, kind of focus on doing and um, I've also really taken upon me over the past year and, and whatnot um, to really um, take more time to, to be more prepared. So what I mean by that is I've 
put a lot of effort into the meals I cook for myself and my husband and um, kind of meal prepping for us and uh, creating like um, creating foods that I can freeze a lot of it and then keep a lot of it out and really um, over the weekends I spend a lot of time doing that and I take a lot of joy in it. I really enjoy cooking and I enjoy um, eating <laughs> a lot but it does mean having a little bit less time to do the things that um, fill my soul a little bit more differently, right? Such as crafting and, and journaling. Um, so I have to really find balance between the two. Typically, I'll go ahead and do some crafting in the mornings. And then by the time uh, mid mid morning comes or lunchtime, then I really have to start focusing more on doing things that will serve us for the whole week. So here I'm using this ribbon. I'm gonna be tying up a bow. I thought it was very simple, but just really cute. <laughs> I didn't want to take away from that wallpaper because I love it so much. And um, as I've mentioned before, sometimes very simple layouts and just a couple elements, it's enough. You don't need to add more just because it feels like you should be adding more. Like if it looks good to you, if it, fills your heart and makes you happy to look at it that's enough that's good reason to have it in your journal and um it, it doesn't have to be more like look at this little bow it's so adorable <laughs> i just love it and i'm just going to be filling that other page with some journaling I really hope that you're all doing well again and I thank you so much for taking the time to join me while I'm journaling and creating. Um, it's really such a joy to be able to share these videos finally. <laughs> so until the next time, I do wish you a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Thank you again for joining me and we'll speak soon. Bye for now.